am a son of Valhalla. Luckily, I didn't go there, which is the Viking afterlife, as you can see here. My ship sunk, and I am on the beaches here. Oh, but you know what? It's my birthday. Not really, but I got a lot of money at least. So I'm following this old guy, and he says, hey, I'm going to lead you to where free cookies are, or I guess where we could build a camp. And voila, this is the beginning of my Viking fortress. We had a very humble beginning here. In Sons of Valhalla, you start from nothing, and I need to build myself up as the greatest warrior with the biggest army in the biggest fortress. So the first thing I want to do is let's build a fisherman's hut. So now you can see this guy's just like using this giant trident here and just stabbing little fish. Now, you'll notice that the art style, it's, it's uncanny how much it resembles the Kingdom series of games. Oh, hello there. Thanks for the fish. So after the beginning, it's time to get some reinforcements. Obviously, since I'm a Viking, they're gonna come in a giant longboat. Now, throughout the game, one of the things that I need to do, other than call in more reinforcements, is collect runes. And with these Viking runes, I get to learn new things. Sort of like a technology tree, in a way. I'm thinking economy is the thing that I want to upgrade first. And I think the first one is all buildings cost 20% less wood. Yes, that's exactly what I want to learn. So let's get a wood cutter's hut. And look at that. We've got a rather burly looking lumberjack. This guy's probably going to get the job done. Oh, shoot. It appears we're under attack already. Gentlemen, on me. Let's go to battle. Oh, my God. This is this is pretty intense. All right, get them, boys. We got some archers. I'll, uh, I'll use this shield here oh i'm standing in the fire that's that's not ideal is it all right i'm gonna rush these archers oh. all right <laughs> i think i went to the viking afterlife maybe a little bit sooner than i expected but it doesn't appear that our story is over okay hell the ruler of the underworld this is her realm and she has a giant scythe so she challenged me to a battle oh my god dodge roll <laughs> oh my god, I dodged. I quote dodged right into that blade Okay, now let's try an arrow. Oh my god my my archery skills need some significant work Okay, this is definitely interesting. Oh We hit her with an arrow. What's that? This kind of reminds me of stick fight right here. Oh Oh, she's shooting giant fireballs. Luckily my shields in place this is just, like, bad. Needless to say, you don't want to be fighting the devil on your first day as a Viking Lord, or you're gonna have a bad time. My life is almost over. Oh! But fortunately, I've defeated her. Well fought, Thorold Olafsson. So I'm the son of Olaf, apparently. You deserve to live another day. Okay, so what just happened? Somehow, I lost my first battle as a Viking Lord, and shortly thereafter, I defeated Hell? <laughs> The goddess of the underworld? Okay. Here we go. Get wrecked. Here we go. Okay. We have uh, defended our first attack, but if you look on the minimap, are they already sending? <gasps> you gotta be kidding me. Catch my arrow, son. Where are my boys at? Guys, we have a real big issue. This game, like, takes no time at all. Getting straight to the point. Unfortunately for us, that point is at the end of many enemies, spears, and swords. All right, let's get through them and start stabbing them in the back. Attack! There we go. All right, so we do the old flank and spank. So our, our tactics are definitely evolving. Boy, shoot him in the back! <laughs> Perfectly done. Okay, arrows to the back of the head. But unfortunately, it looks like the enemy is building up forces and just continually sieging us. This seems a bit aggressive. All right, now I've got javelins. <laughs> javelins, needless to say, do a lot more damage. Ha! Huh. Hit and run, boys. Hit and run. Which is technically the Viking way. All right. Now, attack. Now we'll get over here. So hopefully they bring their shields over here and aren't looking to block these arrows. And my boys get some nice hits in the head. Preferably. Gentlemen, where are you people? I went in for a double hit and almost died. We're going to power up a double attack. 
There we go. Big hit to the face. Now, I'm not sure how many more attacks we're going to have to endure, but if you look on the mini-map, in the bottom middle of the screen, oh my god, we have another attack coming already. I really need to learn how we can build up a bigger army. Because they are already attacking me. Fortunately, we do continually get new reinforcements. If I enter the Mead Hall, I can repair it and I can upgrade it, but I need 2,450 gold. So right now, it's just enduring the siege. There we go. Two men down. Now all I gotta do is keep dodging. Double attack. Oh, yes. Okay, that is awesome because it knocks them down and it dazes and confuses them for a short moment of time until I can get another one in and absolutely destroy them. So at some point, once we get enough gold through enduring these sieges, but potentially we could use some Romelian tactics. And even though we are outnumbered, we could counterattack them, right? So we'll take the two archers and see if I have enough. All right, I got like what, one arrow? <laughs> what a shot! All right, all right, we'll dodge. Boys, 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 shoot, please. That guy looks like he throws spears. All right, he had his guard up, but luckily he turned away and then my archers stuck him. Now, even though I'm the king, apparently I have to buy my own fish, which is unfortunate. And we're maxed out on food and we're about to increase our fish selection. This is absolutely chaotic. I was not expecting this at all when I first started playing. Let's try a javelin. There we go. One guy's knocked over. We've got another javelin. <laughs> that was satisfying. Uh-oh. They got more men. Gentlemen, we must endure this siege. Attack, archers. I'll get them to not uh, use their shields. I don't know how much I can... Oh, that's bad. This is a brutal game. All right, we've won this engagement. Enemy is nearby. There's no enemy nearby. I've, I've, I've slain them all, single-handedly even. We will upgrade into a mead hall. Now we have some right and proper walls. I think the enemy is going to have a much harder time getting through here. Man, these sieges are relentless. But one thing I can do is attack from the walls. And man, this is effective. All right, let's get out of there before we die. Ooh, that was that was a little bit too close. All right, both the enemies are, are slain. A lot of gold out here. It's nighttime and I don't know when this, when we're gonna get any reprieve. Now we can upgrade and get a barracks or an archery range. A blacksmith refills your supplies. Siege workshop, what do we want? I think I want a barracks. We have the basic economy in fish and wood and gold seems to be from conquest. So let's build a barracks over here. Hey guys, stop that, huh? Yeah, thanks. Alrighty, we can upgrade our men, but I want to purchase some swordsmen to go with me. I've got a bunch queued up and we've got shield fighters and swordsmen. So more shieldsmen would be good because then I can use a proper shield wall strat. Lumber boy. There you go. Excellent. So enduring the enemy's siege is only half the battle. Ha! <laughs> the defensive side of the battle. All right, as I have an arrow sticking out of my clavicle armor. Hey, bud. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? You can throw your spear at me, but I can't throw mine at you. That seems a little bit ridiculous. Catch my arrow. <laughs> what is this? Oh my goodness. I got a rune, I got fish, and I got plenty of gold. This is exactly what I wanted. Ooh, automatically healed in my fortress seems like a no-brainer. Let's get our first shield soldier and then another swordman. Now what's nice is we can queue them up multiples at a time, which is all well and good. Increasing the block chance by 5%, increasing the armor. Let's upgrade our armor. Now the next thing we could do is get archers. But I wanna, oh, hold on, hold on. Uh-oh. All right, let's attack. Oh God, no, not ready to die. Okay, we're down to two men and we're on the attack, but there's only four guys defending it. I feel like we have to push. There we go. There we go. We have finally taken this. So now what we need to do is stand next to the flag and then we will capture it. And it looks like this has a windmill. So I think what we need to do now is tell my men to uh, follow. Yeah, follow. Uh, don't don't keep attacking. I don't think we want to do that. 
We got fish and a rune. Okay. Now that is an enemy fort. Okay, let's get out of here. So I want to have them hold this position and defend it. Why I get all of these resources. Now I'm starting to get the hang of what this game is all about. Ah, oh, here's the quick death. Knocking enemies out when they're on the ground. Exactly what I want. And we'll increase our stun chance. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So I'm thinking what I actually want to get here is actually a fisherman hut. And I want to increase the storage of the woodcutter's hut. Oh gosh, we actually just lost the next town. Okay. Oh my god. This is brutal. Defend this gate. Finish him. What I need to do probably is upgrade this again. Holding that outpost just seems to be a little bit too difficult. And in order to do that, we need 4,500. And we're going to need a lot more wood storage. Okay, we can do that. All right, archery range it is. They're relatively cheap to build new buildings, so we can always switch back and forth as is needed. And let's get some flaming archers. Hopefully we can break this siege. I wish the rain would put out this beautiful looking fire. Follow me and then hold this position. Let's see if all of these archers can do well against this attack. Jeez, I almost died. I really don't want to have to fight the devil again. <laughs> Block some arrows. There's so many arrows in my shield, but you'll notice there's actually one with what looks like is in my left eyeball. All right, we'll repair the wall. And then I'll go inside the fortress and I should be healing. You can kind of see these little green crosses above my head. Yeah, that, that means we're doing better. Dude, the fire arrows are doing some work. So if you're going to be playing this at the beginning, what I highly advise is upgrade your wood economy, get a ton of archers and just sit back and defend and get as much gold as you can to upgrade your mead hall. Dude, this is finish him. Send him to Valhalla indeed. I'm a one-man wrecking ball right now. Okay, I can still uh, die though. <laughs> and I don't do too well when someone throws a javelin right at my balls. All right, I want javelins out, but arrows and then soon flaming arrows? Tar pots and fire pots just seem like, sort of like the Viking equivalent of a grenade. Let's see if I can't javelin this dude. Oh my gosh, I was just like, yeah, <laughs> right in his chest. Okay, dip out of there. Hit and run, boys. Oh, they're throwing. Dang, that hurt. All right, boys, do your thing. There we go. I'm starting to get a little bit better. <laughs> he says right before he misses. There's a headshot. Dude, look at this guy. Are you all right, bud? He doesn't look like he's doing too well. Now, would there be a way to raid the enemy's base? Cause there's all these chests out here. Oh my gosh, probably not. Yeah, that's bad news. And we can upgrade the meat hall at 4,500. That feels like so far away. Jeez. We finally have it. Upgrading the mead hall. Please give me towers with which my men can shoot down fiery hell on the, my enemies. We've reached the maximum level, so there isn't much more we can do. However, we should have a few more building slots. So I think what I actually want is a blacksmith. Refills your supplies. Okay, what we first need though is to have my men follow and hold this position. Building a siege workshop might be just what we need to do. Wow. Yeah, I think building a siege workshop is exactly what we need, but now at least I can refill all of my ammunition and start to get tar pots and fire pots. So if I use a tar pot and then a fire pot, I should cover them with the tar and then I should light them on fire, right? Anyway, hope you did enjoy this first episode of Sons of Alhalla. We have been enduring an endless siege as our Viking Empire. We've basically upgraded the Mead Hall as far as we can go. And now it's just working on the economy and finally building an army worthy enough and big enough to defeat the enemy fortress, which I think is going to take some time. So let me know if you did enjoy the video and you do want to see more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.